Hello, this is David from the tech support team and training staff here at Alad Tech. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the options for scheduled publishing, which allows you as a top level administrator to manage which of your schedules are viewable and available to your membership uh, over a specific range of time. And now you're able to do this on a individual schedule level. And this is all set up from the uh, setup area in your system, which is the top left corner here you pull the drop down and click on the setup link which gets you here and we're going to go under schedules and we're going to be looking at the top four schedules here in our test system and looking through the different options that you have for your scheduling you can have it set here you'll see the column for publishing and each of the settings for your schedules You'll notice the one option here is disabled. That just means that that schedule is available all the time, in the past, in the future, and otherwise. And it's just always open for people to see. If I expand out administrators, you can come over here and here's where you're able to change the settings of what the publishing options are for a particular schedule. And we're gonna go through each of these options as you'll see, automatic, manual, and custom. Always remember to oh, click OK and save your changes as you do this. Let's go down to the Rocky Road station here and go over and we'll see here that that is set to an automatic publishing option. And it's telling us it's published through the month of June at this point. This is an automatic rolling option where it would, as of a particular day in the month and time, it would release the next amount of months that you want to have available to your membership. If you have a set schedule out there and you're just limiting how far they can go out in the future on a regular basis, you can set this repeating pattern to as you need it for how many months and on whatever day of the month here. You can also do this manually, of course. You'll be able to publish through a certain month as you need it. So if you're an administrator that is building the schedule in the future and you're doing it over the course of a week and you're not exactly sure when you're gonna be done, as you get done, this would be your last step to go into this setting here for the manual options. And you can always hover over the blue eye bubble there for information. And you're setting exactly how far ahead in time that schedule is available by month. So this is published through the month of May. And when we have June ready, we would come in here and switch it to June and save. The last option here we have for the police station is called a custom range. So if the automatic option doesn't work for you or you don't need it month by month, it has to be more specific than that, then you get some options here on how to exactly do that. You can roll it through a, a very specific number of days and have it be released so many days ahead of time. So let's go take a look at this, how it looks on the schedule itself. You can see how far ahead they are set right in the setup area. But if we go under work schedule, work schedule views, then we're going to be able to see uh, indicated on the schedule itself, whether you're working on it, you know, from this monthly calendar view or day to day in your hourly editor, you'll see which published schedules there are and what their status is. We're in the current month of May. And if I roll forward to June, now we're seeing a notification at the top here that says one of these schedules is unpublished. So from an admin's point of view, they'll be able to quickly look on each level here and see which schedules are being shown to the membership and which ones are not. And as we roll through to July, based on our settings here, more of the schedules are unpublished because we don't want your members going that far in the future to see that information. So what do your members see? Well, let's go take a look at that. We're going to switch the point of view here to a regular member here. We're going to choose Dave Anderson. And from his point of view as a member, because those schedules are unpublished, they literally could not see them. They're not going to see their own shifts, anybody else's. They're not going to see signups or open shifts. So they can't trade their shifts or specifically click on them to ask for time off and those kinds of things. And we're in July. And as we roll back in time a little bit here, now we're going to see in June, there are some open schedules that are available because that's in the near future. And their own shifts are highlighted in yellow. And as we go back to May, then they'll get a full breadth of everything that's open to them. So there you have it, schedule publishing uh, managed by your administrators in the setup area. We're for these and any other questions on functionality in the system, please call us 888-749-5550 or email support at aladtech.com. Thank you for listening.